Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Dome GS98C, which is a car camcorder. So it's one of those DVRs you stick in the, the front of your car or wherever, just to make sure you're uh, videoing everything that's going on. This is a very interesting little product actually, for uh, uh, reasons we'll come on to in a minute. So what's in the box? Let's have a look. There's the camera itself, which is actually a unique shape. It's, it's, it's featuring the Ambrella A7 LA70, which is one of the latest of these, um, these chipsets to go into these things. But it's, uh, what I like about this is it's not this boring straight square box that you get. It actually looks quite stylish sitting there in your, in your windscreen. Um, the other thing is it's, it's very ergonomic um, because you've got everything you need, all the control buttons, and they look complicated, but they're actually quite simple once you get used to them, sitting underneath. So you can just tap them underneath when, they're si when the unit is sitting up in the, uh, in, in, the, in the car. What else have we got? Well, it comes obviously uh, with a power cable, nice touch, very long power cable. So you can actually install this in a, on a very professional kind of way. In other words, feed it around the side of the mirror, uh, the window and uh, the windscreen and down the side of the dash and into the power socket stuff. So that's a definite plus point as well. Here we have the GPS unit, which plugs in, which gives you GPS tracking, um, which is cool. A USB cable for the charging, etc. outside and connection um, to your computer. And of course, the mount, which is a surprisingly effective little suction and sticky mount there, which goes there. Um, and I say surprisingly effective because it actually works very well. It keeps it there. It's rock steady. And a user manual in multiple languages, but again, very comprehensive. I love the fact that the manual is actually worthwhile and useful. It gives you everything you need to know. So much with these uh, um, products, you get a substandard documentation. Well, this is definitely not. So there you go. Let's have a look at the camera itself. Okay, so I'm running it off a power pack um, in order to demonstrate the menuing and stuff. Uh, obviously, this, if you're in a car, it would be the same. A few specs before we go any further. 2.7 inch screen here. Um, it's 1296p, so that's 2304 by 1296 at 30 frames per second. It will do 60 frames per second at 1980, which is really cool. GPS, as I've mentioned, 178 degree lens, um, so it's nice and wide angle. It has HDMI out at the top here and uh, does loop recording, has a G sensor built in, as well as my speakers and a mic. The mic is there, tiny thing there, which is actually surprisingly effective. It does pick up everything you say um, in the car. It takes a maximum 64 gigabytes uh, TF card or micro SD card, depending on what you want to call it, it, which goes into this slot here. 64 gig is great, gives you lots of space for for storing stuff. 16 megapixel camera, which has is really good resolution, as you'll see from the samples we'll do both in the day and at night. Um, the, and it has a, a 190 milliamp hour battery, which actually is useless, basically lasts for a few minutes, then it runs out. So you're gonna need to keep this powered up the whole time, but that's, you know, par for the course with these sort of things, really. What you'll notice on the right here is a little button and that's an emergency button. So if anything happens, you press that button and it and it locks in the previous 10 seconds and uh, up to 30 seconds of footage um, from the camera, which is great if you get into an incident, you just hit that and it'll it'll backtrack and save the, the previous 10 seconds, etc., and give you a nice uh, overview of what happened leading up to and during the event and the incident, which is nice. Now, the, 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 I said there was, uh, this is quite an interesting little product and it, and it certainly is, let me give you some ideas ideas as to why. Number one is it has a huge amount of of configuration you can go through. You can do anything from, you know, time lapse configuration across various uh, times. I don't know what quite what intelligent mode means, but that sounds pretty exciting to me. <laughs> and uh, all sorts of like uh, the the metering of, of it you can set and of course obviously the image quality. If I back up here and um, just show you the image quality, you can get super fine, fine and normal. Here we have 2560 by 1080, 30p, 1920 by 1080, 60p, etc. So you can set it up the way you want it, really. But what's interesting is this little ADA, ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, um, which is basically a system which gives you the kind of 
and you have to calibrate it there but it gives you the kind of features you find on the expensive cars like lane assist so if you start wandering off a lane your the, the camera will beep at you and tell you and also it, it has if the car in front of you is pulled off it will tell you that that you should you know at a green light you should carry on um etc so basically it's acting as a as a third eye um to help you drive better which i think is really cool for a budget a budget camera like that i mean it, it's it's beyond cool actually i mean it's it's a really fabulous f uh, feature so you get that and th this calibration bit here is where you're you're basically just setting the the top and the where the car ends and the rest of the road is so the car know the camera knows exactly where your car is g sensor for detecting sudden stops etc motion detection and park mode for those who are not familiar with what parking mode is it's basically the mode which you leave set and when you're away from the car it will detect if a bump goes on and automatically take a a clip of video before and after the event just so you can see what happens so for instance if if a car comes and hits uh, does a hit and run on your car while it's parked outside your house or somewhere like that this park mode should be able to capture that as long as it was from the front and not from the side or the back or something like that finally let's look at the ergonomics of the unit shall we so it sits in the unit like that attaches to the windscreen as i say it's fairly firm this bit is not latched but it does hold it up um, no problem these buttons as i mentioned earlier are really quite intuitive after you get to use them that's up and down the menu that's the menu button that's uh, okay to start uh, recording and stop recording and to access parts of the menuing system and this is just a mode between uh, the photograph the camera to do still shots and also for playback so you just cycle up and down whatever you stored on the uh, on the unit and play it back live with sound because it has a speaker of course and this here is the power on and off button and and basically that's it which is great i mean apart from this emergency button which you press which again it's all very intuitive when it's when it's locked in altogether very well thought out i do like well thought out products and this is the best thought out car camera i've come across so far by far carbon fiber. Woo. Well, there you have it, the Dome GS98C car DVR camera. 
probably the nicest camera we've come across so far for cars for for black box car use it has a bunch of features great ergonomics we love this positioning of the buttons on the bottom here the the panic button and generally the whole the way the whole thing is is designed great quality so it's a nice sturdy feeling camera so it doesn't feel cheap at all full of functionality and definitely worth the 74 bucks or 48 quid or whatever it is you're going to pay for it um retail at the moment yeah definitely um a a, a great little great little camera as usual if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more cool stuff thanks very much Oh,